Hi everyone, welcome to our Zoho Creator tutorial on pop-up forms. Today we'll be going over the two different methods of opening up a pop-up form in your Zoho Creator application. The first example we'll be using is the Zoho built-in function open URL. The second method will be appending a query string parameter called zc underscore loadin equals dialog. We'll demonstrate the use cases within the application and how to set them up. And I hope that you find this video useful. And if you do, definitely let us know. Let's dive in. So here's our Zoho Creator application. And within this application, I've created a contact form that has very, very basic contact information here. Whenever I created this form, there was a report that was generated with it. In here, we could see a bunch of sample records that I've imported, but this is the report that's associated to that contact form. By default, when you click on a particular row and click on it, it will open up the detail view here. Then clicking edit will open up the form to edit that record. So what we would like to do is instead of opening up the detail view on click of a row, we would like to open up the contact form in a pop-up so we could update this particular contact here in a pop-up form that retains this report in the background. So in order to do that, we're going to click edit this application, actions, on click of a record, we're going to change this to add new item. And then we're going to say open, whoops, open contact pop-up form. Open contact pop-up form. Add new action, deluge script, and then create your own. So Zoho actually has open URL function. So open URL. And the string here is where your URL will go. And then the window type decides how to open up that particular URL. So for this example, there's a very special URL to use when trying to access a particular record. So here's what that looks like. In here we have username, app link name, form link name, the record ID, and the view link name, and these all need to be updated. So we'll start off by enclosing this in double quotes. So the username here is right after app builder. So demo for Zanata, that's our username. The app link name, so this app is called demo. Hey, I'm to do demo. For the form link name, I will show you very quickly how to access that. And let's actually just duplicate that. So when we have a form pulled open, this is the name to use for the form link name. And we'll see it in the URL, our report. We're also going to need our report link name that is in the URL as well of the uh, particular report. So we'll go back to our function. So our form link name is contact and we will update the view link name, which is contacts. For record ID, just put a quote here and we'll put the ID of the record that's being selected on the report view page. So I'm going to grab this URL and plug it in here as a string. And then for the window type, we're going to select pop-up window. You can have a custom height and width. Normally I just don't use that, but that's always able to be adjusted if you need to. You should be able to use both the percentages and pixels just like that. If you need to adjust the size of the pop-up window, otherwise you can just get rid of that because it normally auto fixes it as far as the, the width and the height of the form. 
So we'll click save and click done and create. So now we have on click of a record, we open the contact pop-up form. Now this actually is not going to work. There's an additional step. So whenever I click on this particular record, it actually brings me to that form here. And the reason being is that we need to adjust the URL so it doesn't change the base of our application. So when we go back to open contact form, edit workflow. So in here, we actually do not need this additional information. So we'll just do hashtag form. We'll click update, close this out, done, and then update here. And now when we go back and we select a particular record, as you can see, it updates it here, or it pulls open the pop-up form here for us to update the details. It, it's a bit more visually pleasing, I think, in this way to open up the records in a pop-up view. It retains the information in the background. So that's how to open up a pop-up form using the open URL function. There is a second way to do this. For this, I've created a custom HTML page. In here is just a HTML table with the same information being displayed. But in this case, we have a update button here. And when we click on this update button, we actually want it to open up the pop-up form. In order to do that, we're going to go back to our contacts. We're going to grab that URL that we are using. Edit workflow. Here's the URL. And we'll click save. Close this out. Configure. We had our update button and we have our href here. So I'm actually going to paste in that information that we had. I will zoom in. And instead of using deluge scripts, we could actually just use this to plug in deluge variables so we could add this directly to our URL. And we'll click paste. And this is actually going to be the contact.id. So it looks right. And at the very end, we're going to add an additional query parameter at the very end. So we have our question mark here. Everything followed by question mark should have an and. So we'll do and zc load in equals dialog. This is case sensitive. So make sure that the I, the L, and the I here are both uh, capitalized. Otherwise, it will, it will not work. So we'll click save and we'll close. We'll click done. We'll zoom back out access this application. And now on a row, whenever we click the update button here, it'll open up that contacts record in a pop-up. That is how you open up a pop-up form in Zoho Creator using both the open your URL method and this method by appending the ZC loadin equals dialog. And that wraps up our tutorial on using Zoho's built-in function, open URL, and the query string parameter method, zc underscore loadin equals dialog, to open up pop-ups within our Zoho Creator application. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more Zoho tips. See you in the next video.